Scorpio, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, what we see here is that there are some workaholic tendencies. And we want to remind you that the, in order for you to be, become the version of yourself that you already are, but you want to feel that sense of alignment, it really is about being conscious to every single moment and checking yourself, recognizing that feeling within yourself that when something doesn't quite feel aligned, right? You could be thinking a thought, you could be putting attention towards something because remember our thoughts always indicate what we're allowing in and what we're not allowing in. And if we have workaholic tendencies, it's most likely stemmed from this feeling of inadequacy or unworthiness, or you need to, you know, validate yourself of some kind, maybe feeling a little bit bored and in that boredom, your mind is wandering and because your mind is wandering, it's connecting to things. And then you feel like you got to be the one to make it happen today. So we just want you to know that the game of life happens organically and all you have to do is go with the flow. So in order to go with the flow, we want to remind you that, you know, anytime we have expectation or we're connected to the outcome, immediately it's suffering, right? Expectation is immediate suffering. It, it encourages a, an ego response from us that again, we're not worthy. We ask you though, in those, in the, in your day to day moments, cause this is where the true inner work happens. It doesn't have to be some ceremonial thing where you sit down and make it a thing. It's the true inner work and the true spiritual path and the true spiritual upgrades and, 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 and remembering that you're a conscious creator happens in every single moment of every single day and tuning in and recognizing when you have a feeling of littleness or you have a feeling of unworthiness or you have a feeling of self-doubt, right? It's, it's within those little energies, those subtle energies that you can debunk, if you will, right? Because all of that, anytime we feel low or lack or poverty mindset, right? That comes from a belief that was instilled and was practiced consistently, right? And that's all it is, is just to regain the focus and practice the new thought consistently, right? So when you want to repractice an abundance mindset, it's a practice. It's a deliberate practice every single day, consistently and diligently, right? That's what the spiritual path is, is practice. So we say to you, it's much easier to practice when you are spending time with yourself, taking time out from the rest of the world, because there's no other uh, distractions around you. And that's why we say take time out from, you know, uh, from, from, from everything and make sure that you gift yourself, okay? Gift yourself the energy of peace and silence and stillness within yourself so that you can connect to the present moment, really start to be more receptive to the energies that are guiding you forward. Ooh, this thought feels really good. Ooh, this idea feels really good. You know what, let's let that simmer. I feel like I'm kind of attached to it. I feel like I'm kind of expecting too much, right? Don't like allow the energy to dance with you instead of like grab you and lead you, right? You don't want to grab and lead because that's connection. That's too much attachment, right? That, that leads to workaholic tendencies. That leads to overly focused and trying to make it happen, right? You just want to feel like you're dancing, right? And that's it. Very light, very easy. Go with the flow, right? And then, and then you will be not feeling quite so frantic, you see? Again, turtle spirit here to remind you, slow and steady wins the race. You can't force anything. You can't make things happen faster than they're going to happen already. So release the stress from your mind. You just got to keep working towards the things that you feel good about each day, the things that you know are creating the version of yourself that you admire. And in doing so, right, with an open heart and with less attachment, you will then be living a life that you really admire as well as maintaining relationships because relationships always are relationships are always going to flow in and feel the best when you are truly living your authentic version of yourself but that is with the perspective of the I am presence right I am I am spirit I am God I am source right this is you right 
any time that we are disconnected from this I am presence and we have forgotten we are conscious creators and we fall into the poverty mindset, it's because we put expectation onto our lives and our creations. And it's through expectation that we, we feel suffering. It's through expectation we start to, you know, over, uh, over analyze and, 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 and create these uh, workaholic tendencies for ourselves, right? So in order for you to know what your path is and where you're, mo where you're best called and to release all of that, again, spend time with yourself and become very real with yourself about sincere intention. So sincere intention. So you don't just want to set an intention like, yeah, I want to make more money. Well, it's not really sincere. You know what I mean? Sincere intention generally comes from adopting the attitude of service. Then we have more sincere intention in our lives, right? So for instance, like, um, you know, I could say, you know what? I want to make sure that, you know, this, this, this new path that my husband and I are walking down, we're going to be the best. We're going to make lots of money. It's going to go so well. Everything's going to be successful, but it's not really sincere. That's coming from more of like a fear place of like, well, it is going to happen. Right. But instead of I'm like, you know, my sincere intention is to, um, have bond and grow with my husband through the process of learning this new skill and just trusting that whatever we, however open we are to learning, that's going to be the degree of abundance that we allow in. Right. And the more, uh, the more I adopt abundance mindset and feed energy into thoughts that relate to abundance, I just trust that everything's going to unfold. Right. But it's really more the attitude of like service. So if I provide, if I am, always monitoring my energy and making sure that my thoughts are guided in the right direction, then my husband and I can evolve and grow and build together through inspiration, right? But if I am not in a good energy and I'm trying to control how this game of life goes through trying to overdo it, right? Putting too much pressure on myself, working hard hours, being extra busy, all of that stuff will show up in my frequency. All of that stuff will, you know, I'll be dispersing too much energy and I just won't be my best version of myself, right? I will be disconnected from my intuitive high priestess self and that just won't feel good, right? So again, everything in life is really just about feeling good. And the only reason why we don't feel good is because we've again, stepped out of our, the balance of intuition and action and we've just maybe taken on a little too much action right so there needs to be a healthy balance otherwise we're going to be disconnected from the guidance that we receive through our spirits and when that happens and we are disconnected we tend to uh we tend to you know um ponder over experiences from our past. We tend to, you know, hang on to, well, this happened before. What if it happens again? You know, crying over spilt milk, if you will. The only thing that matters is taking your focus and putting it towards the life that you want to create. And if you're thinking about something that doesn't resemble who the life you want to live, you got to de debunk that. You've got to dissect that, right? Because anytime that we think thoughts that leave us feeling unworthy or limited, we got to look a little bit deeper into that because that belief was created at some point in our life. That wasn't how we were born here on planet earth. How we were born is with this, again, this childlike sense of wonder and this joy and this love, right? We weren't. And then over time, maybe through uh, experiences we've gone through or energies we were in, yeah, we may have felt a low frequency, thought something, right? And then that stayed, right? Because then it was validated by our outer world because whatever we focus on, we see in our physical world. So if you keep telling yourself, you know, I got to work really hard to make money. Well, you're going to see the, you're going to start working really hard for money. Right. But the thing is, is, you don't have to make it hard for yourself. You can just say abundance flows to me endlessly. Unexpected gifts flow to me endlessly. And we see that that's, what's going to show up for you here. Beautiful soul. Write this down in the comments below. Unexpected gifts flow to me. Unexpected gifts flow to me. This is your truth, right? This is your truth. So never forget it. You are, I am consciousness, right? You don't need to work as hard and as, and as endless as you have been doing. So everything is going to unfold. Just love your life. Live, live, live from a sense of joy and bliss and, and, and it will all unfold as it's supposed to. Now, a little help from your angels here. They are providing you the cleanse and detoxify message. So your angels are saying to you now with great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body at your request. We'll help you to develop life affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. So 
when we are extra busy, it's very taxing on our energy, right? When we're thinking a lot, when we're focused in so many different directions, we could do this, we could do this, very, very taxing, right? So take some time out, clear your energy away, healing frequencies, right? Run energy through your chakras, uh, maybe go on a bit more of a vegetable diet, fruit-based diet, right? Just try to cleanse uh, processed foods, packaged foods, right? This all stores energy, right? So the name of the game is to cleanse, right? Cleanse, cleanse, maybe it's doing a little bit of intermittent fasting, you know, maybe drinking more lemon water, being conscious to drink more water how whatever resonates with you in your life there's many different ways we can cleanse the body but it's really just the intention of doing so and that will help you connect to your intuition and your higher self much more profoundly we love you so much we hope you enjoyed your reading we hope there were messages in here for you and if there was like and subscribe we truly appreciate you spirit loves you i love you and until our next reading keep shining baby